Trouble off trouble board. Trouble. Newman slams the wall. Mar oh, man. Comes Schrader, and Newman is in Newman. the air oh. and over. Ryan Newman, last year's rookie of the year. Oh, the rear God. end ripped from the car. Oh, look at that thing lift up, Larry. Just takes off like an airplane. That's 3,400 pounds, folks. Just lifting up in the air like a feather. And the right rear wheel digs into the dirt and tears the whole rear end loose from the car. Yeah, if the tire hadn't come off of the wheel, it probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have turned over like that. But once the wheel, the tire came off and it just had, it dug in and flipped it. Let's watch her here and see what happens. Oh, Kenny Schrader got out of control, got into him. Oh, is, that's what happened, Mike. His right rear tire came off. Car goes airborne. Then when it hits the ground, it digs in and just rips it apart. Kevin Harvick there, Marcus Am Ambrose. Ambrose is there, comes across, Harvick stops, and Newman's car comes to rest upside down on its roof. We were hoping it would not happen, and here with five laps ago, yeah, indeed it has. Here. Hell of a job. I don't know what started that, but you see had quite a bit of damage on that car. Flipped over three or four times. Yeah, I was looking out the window, but I could not see that's so far, that's the furthest point away from us. Just couldn't tell what was going on there. The safety crews are there immediately. They get in the car and will try to communicate with the driver. And watch the car get turned around. Please. He and his teammate, Tony Stewart, got into the wall. But you can see it turns Ryan Newman around. As soon as it does, it's almost like that wing acts as a, to help to lift the car up. Lands on Kevin Harvick's hood. See Elliot Sadler there involved. Elliot trying to jam the brakes on to keep from hitting the 39 as it was pirouetting up the track. He's able to miss it. Harvick able to get the car woe down as the 39 just comes rolling down on its roof onto the grass and comes to a, comes over again another 360 before coming to rest on its top. With well, the car sitting up. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air, goes oh. Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof, Ryan oh. Newman comes across the line, fourth. And comes to rest. Scoring to go to the outside, then the inside. They lock, lock bumpers and turns Ryan Newman around. Upside down he goes. Corey LaJoy coming along, making contact. Just lifting Newman's car up and over. And it comes to rest on its roof. Here is the second closest finish in Daytona 500 history. Denny Hamlin, the winner in both of them. This time it is Ryan Blaney finishing second. Blaney tried the top side, tried to get low. Ryan Newman goes around, and the car goes to its roof, and here's the on-rushing Corey LaJoy picking it up and over. safety crews that he is okay. 78 car, Kurt Busch, it is destroyed. 
right here, the 51 car. Owen oh, Stenhouse squeezes to the outside. And that's and, Yaley. And, and that shoved Yaley down there. Look at that 78 car upside down and then lands on top of Ryan Newman's 39 car. Bobby Labonte involved. So it was Stenhouse, the rookie, trying to go four wide on the outside, running out of room with his number 17. Yeah, and running out of time. I mean, he's, you know, desperate. And, and you see the 36 move down just a little bit. And Yaley and, uh, and Stenhouse thought he could squeeze by on the, uh, next to the wall, and he just couldn't make it. And this kid's ugly. Watch his thing. Right on top of Ryan Newman. Hadn't Ryan Newman had cars on top of him before here? I think uh, the 2009 race. I think you're right. Brad Keselowski. I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. Goes he goes to the outside. Is Edwards going? Oh, no. He turns him. No. No. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Unbelievable. Carl Edwards' car destroyed, and Junior's protege, Keselowski, the winner and Carl Edwards is moving around and ready to climm out. Larry, look at that. The, the After carburetor, a wild ride. The carburetor's gone it's off. It's completely the gone. Car yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I mean, that car, that wow. looked like Bobby Allison did here in 1987. The catch fence did its job Thank and goodness. the car did its job. Thank goodness we have the new stall. Big run down. Oh, we got one spinning. No, and it's McMurray. Man, that thing is flipping. Rolling. That car is it's junk. You got that right. Well, I just he hope he's a ride right He there. had been incredibly fast. He got a huge runoff turn two, caught a, back a pack of cars, made a quick move, and ended up in the fence. Mike, it, it just really wouldn't surprise me to see uh, some kind of maybe adjustment on the speeds here because the cars are really, really fast. Yeah, that just, that happened way too easy. And he's climbed out. Team, one of our faster oh. cars. There's McMurray out of the car. Newman with a pretty good run. No, he maybe cut a tire. Something happened to that car. It just yeah. went around all by itself on the straightaway. And, and see, what really sent that car over was when Newman hit him on the left side, it lifted the right side up and caught air. Yeah. And look at that car start come rolling. apart against the fence. It just disintegrates. I mean, everything did its job of what it's designed to do. The fence kept the car on the racetrack. Car stayed intact. Watch this car now. It's just gonna it's gonna turn all by itself right there. Oh, left the left rear, rear. The left, left rear, rear tire. Yeah. Right over the top of Newman's car. Yeah. Newman and Ty Dillon both with a good bit of damage. And Mike, the two fastest cars, the one and the 13, were both involved in that accident. That's right. Crash on the backstretch ramp. Man, and right up in front of more traffic. Behind you in three. Ryan Newman's in it. David Reagan is in it. Well, Fire. And Chris Busher was in it as well. Chris Busher involved. The 83 of Dylan Lupton up on top of the 31. The fire underneath the hood of the 23. And the 14 of Tony Stewart. So he's rent the whole yeah, lines out of the 14. Stop right here, Lisa. The 31 and the 14. There's some contact right here heading into turn one. The 31 accelerates, gets inside the 14 as they enter the backstretch. And we've seen this several times with cars having, you know, getting into turn one and the 14 just kept coming down with the 31 on the back straight away. It wasn't happy maybe with what went on in turn one and big impact by the 23 and you see right there Chris Busher kind of bounces between them. Yeah. Luckily gets through but that was a really big impact for the 23 of David Reagan. It's great to see him climb out. This would be a great view of it Jeff. Outside 14. 19 straight back looking inside tight inside tight inside tight.
don't like this. Hard the wall goes big. Oh, Byron. Byron noses in. Oh, Byron went in hard. Oh, Matt Kent has piloted the Byron right to, uh, to the 14 car right at the end there. 24 sitting down here on fire. 37, the one. What a that was a huge wreck. And William Byron climbs out after an incredibly hard hit. I'm not sure what happened, but remember William only took two tires. Oh boy, they're four wide there. Byron on the yeah, bottom. He just gets yeah, loose he just, underneath yeah, he the He just starts 14. spinning out and gets into the. Oh. Man, it just. Oh, my gosh. That car almost went over. Just hooked, nosed in. How many times have we seen a car land on top of, of uh, Ryan Newman? Ryan Newman. Yeah. I mean, I, that's two or three times I can remember. Too many. Remember, he was with uh, with McNair.